welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and today we are going to have another Selfish OF topic which will be in this case about Micro-G again and uh, yeah the interesting thing is that even so you might have installed Micro-G it might not work as it was intended to work till now for you and I'm going to show you how to get that running. Um, problem for us was that we couldn't uh, start Netflix and the, the Snapchat um, app at the last uh, version or the last check we did and um, yeah this might be because of a bug with a micro g version we installed or better to say the fake store so the, the play store um, replacement and uh, there is another one we can install it and maybe it's working then I didn't test it till now so we will have a look at that together um, yeah as always, if you don't know anything about Micro-G or what Selfish OS is or whatever, have a look at the corner up there. There's a couple of different other videos which are going to explain that to you in depth. Short version, Micro-G is something that will replace Google Play Store or the Google uh, services in general and uh, will not send any kind or at least a lot less data to Google. And like that, you don't need the Google Play Store or the Google service it's at the whole on your smartphone anymore. But you can still use close to any app that, uh, that is available on the Play Store. And um, yeah, in the end, we are using Selfish OS, of course. At this time, we are using the, uh, my, uh, the uh, Sony Xperia 10 Mark II in this case. This is not my daily driver anymore. I have the Mark III now as my daily driver, but this is going to be the, uh, the uh, one that I'm going to use for this presentation. And um, it's more or less about this because I don't want Micro-G on my daily driver because I don't want to send any kind of data to, uh, to Google and Micro-G is obscuring most of the data it's sending and doesn't send as much data as uh, the Google services itself would but still it might send some so I'm not going to use it on my daily driver I'm just using it on this smartphone which is of course one that I'm not using daily and yeah in the end what I'm going to show you here is going to be shown by my laptop which is accessing again a web server which is running on my on my phone here which is called screencast the technology behind it and so you will be able to see everything on the screen but there might be a lag that is not happening on the smartphone itself but it's because of this technology where all the different uh, kind of, of um, yeah in the end screen shots are taken all inconsistently and those are transferred by a web server and that might introduce a lot of lag in some situations we will see um, so first off i'm going to go to my browser in this case and as you can see here we are and um, this is going to be my smartphone you can see very similar thing is going on here if i'm doing that and there was a delay i'm going to turn around show you my smartphone screen and the, the big screen in once a row more or less so you can see both and just compare where the lag is coming from from the smartphone itself or from the display here um, other than that um, let's have a look at the part where I'm going to get everything from. So as you can see, I this is in my, my normal PC now or my laptop in this case. And as you can see, I got it, I uh, yeah, more or less opened up the Micro-G uh, GitHub version here. And here you can see every, uh, every uh, releases and of course the source code itself because it's open source. And in the end, um, what I will have to install is this version. So the, the 0.1 version, not any other version before. If you are installing um, the Micro-G services from, for instance, um, F-Droid, you are receiving an uh, older version of that. And that's the problem here. So I'm going to download that, but of course I can't do that on my, my um, laptop here. So I'm going to do the same thing at my smartphone going to position myself in a way that you can see both so my smartphone screen and the screen up there and for that I'm going to go to my uh, browser of course I already 
um, open it up for us so we don't have to search for it or something. And as you can see, I already got, uh, got to the page where we have releases and now here is more or less what you need to install. And just to make sure that you can install it, if you didn't till now, I'm pretty sure you already did it because MicroG uh, already required it to do. But just in case you didn't uh, till now activate it, go to the settings as here, go to the uh, ones here and make sure that down below somewhere, there we are. Um, it's foreign software in German, so directly translated French software. And um, just make sure that you can use this. So just activate to um, install software from the internet, for instance. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to download in on and install this fake store APK. So in this case, we already activated it. We can now click on fake store. At least if it's registering, I click Come on. There we go. And now you already see it. We downloaded it. We can click on it. Now it's going to ask you, do you really want to install that? Yeah, we want to install it. Click on that. Just wait a little. There we go. Installation was successful, more or less, is now at the top there. And if I'm now going to go back to my settings, I would recommend to restart the, the Android uh, support in this case. Um, so if we are using Waydroid, it's a different story, but if we are using Android, uh, the Alien Dalvik one, which is the official support version here, um, just go down at this point, go to Android app support and just um, yeah, stop it more or less. Wait a little till it stopped. And now it stopped and we can restart it by just clicking on start again. And if we do that, just give it a little bit to restart. Um, in some situations there will be something like, like different notifications and stuff like that, which are going to be present then, but we will see. Might take a little bit of time to, um, this is just because I don't know how he is reacting to me. So in the end, um, I changed something for the Play Store service and stuff like that. So this is more or less like, like restarting your smartphone. As you can see, it work, it's working now. App, app support is active, loved, running more or less is, is the translation there. And um, yeah, if you did that, now we can check again. Um, we had two problems. I can already tell you Netflix is not going to work probably, but we will have another option there. Um, and Snapchat. And Snapchat, of course, you can now have a look at the Micro G um, settings again. Problem is, um, you can't really see what's going on. So even if you installed it before and you got, uh, got to the, uh, the self-test or whatever, um, everything was exactly the same. You, you, wasn't, you haven't been able to see that there was a problem with the store or something. So everything was already ticked like it should be and so on and so forth. So it really doesn't make any kind of difference here. Um, yeah, in the end, it really doesn't make any kind of difference. Uh, it's only important that this is configured as it is. So you need at least this system does support signature um, yeah, faking or whatever, and uh, I'm not sure what uh, what the name would be in English. So please bear with me. Somebody else can tell you, but uh, the order and stuff like that should be the same for you too. And um, yeah, if you did that, just go out here again. It's it's all activated as you can see, with one exception. And uh, after that, you should be able to just go to your app starter and, for instance, have a look at Snapchat. Snapchat was one of those which didn't work, which really notified us, hey, sorry, um, something isn't working, you need another version, there are no Google services and stuff like that installed. Now I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, there's no prompt, which is already going to give us this information. So. Snapchat seems to be working. At least we can now log in and register and do stuff. And that wasn't possible till now before we installed the fake store version 0.1.
be careful to install that one and not the other one. And or well, there are a couple of other options there, but please make sure that you get this version and it should work. Um, I'm not going to register or something, I'm not using Snapchat, but just to show you now that this application doesn't recognize us to be uh, using a Selfish OS uh, smartphone anymore, or at least something that doesn't use um, the Play Store services, because Micro-G is really faking it in a great way now. And yeah, the other option or the other one that didn't work was Netflix. Um, I'm just going to get rid of everything that is open here. Pull down menu at the top there. And um, now I'm just going to go into Netflix and see what's Netflix doing. Problem, as mentioned before, Netflix seems to be able to still see that I'm not using Play Store information. But the good thing is um, there is an option to go to the Netflix website. So go to additional information and um, yeah, in the end they seem to have any kind of, of uh, software that is not using the Play Store uh, option. So download the Netflix app here, try it out. Um, for me, it didn't really work out. I tried it once and it didn't work, uh, but maybe it's working for you. I don't know um, if it's something that Netflix didn't want us to, to install or if it's another problem. But in the end, as you can see, now we really have more or less the option to run everything that I wanted to test at the first run I did those videos. Up there in the corner, you can see them. And um, yeah, in the end, I think we are now pretty much at the point where we can use everything we wanted to use. And um, yeah, Snapchat is in there. Um, Netflix probably, if not, you can still use a website, that's fine too. And uh, other than that, I hope you had fun with this episode because this concludes the episode. And um, I hope I could tell you and help you with your problems a little bit more. Thank you for uh, uh, the persons who really uh, told me about this problem here because I didn't uh, uh, get this by myself but there was someone very helpful for me I'm going to, to show you who it was if he is happy with that and other than that thank you for watching thank you for listening have a great time have a great day and of course great Eastern if you liked the video give it a thumbs up that's really helping us and other than that thanks have a great time don't forget to subscribe if you want to uh, see more videos about uh, the, the Selfish OS or about other stuff I'm going doing on my second channel. And then have a great one. See you and bye. Bye.